What is a curse word that you cannot bring home and say at home anymore? When I get home, I can't say You know, doesn't sound as bad as you think. <laughs> Welcome to Browns by the Lake, presented by Cross Country Mortgage. We're here getting to know our offensive line a little bit better. Joel Batonio, Wyatt Teller, first of all, thanks for leaning into Beach Day with the goggles and the bird. Yeah, we, we stayed ready. <laughs> we stayed ready. We, uh, we heard about Beach Day, so we came prepared. Uh, awesome to have this in our backyard here. Yeah, I know. We need to get some uh, beach volleyball going. Oh, yeah. You guys looked good in, in the pre-roll there. <laughs> no one spiked it, which was a good thing. Yeah, we're, yeah. we're just warming up, taking it easy right exactly, now. Exactly, exactly. What's up? We only got so much time because this is going to get branded into your forehead, these goggles. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be all right. Uh, the helmet's right there anyway, so it's, it's used to it. <laughs> you can cover it up. You two have got some jolly personalities on the team. How do you channel an alter ego in the trenches? Yeah, for us, I think off the field, we just want to be ourselves, and, and we like to joke around and have a good time. These are long days, long season, and, um, you know, it's more enjoyable when you just be yourself. But once we get on the field, there's a, a switch that flips, and we got to protect our brothers out there, protect ourselves, and, and really try and make a statement, you know, in the way we play the game. And so for us, it's, it's pretty easy, but um, just by the time it comes to game day, you know, we're ready to turn it on. Yeah, Joel, Joel definitely said it well. You know, it's, it's definitely a, a switch that flips. Um, you know, whenever you're getting ready for the game, you're listening to your music, you're focusing in, you're studying your last little walkthroughs, tips and tips and tells, and then, uh, you know, I always wear my uh, my eye black, which is kind of like a uh, little alter ego. I, you know, whenever I put that on, it's it's time to roll. Yes, the dark zone. <laughs> now, offensive linemen are more athletic than people give you credit for. What are some sports or activities maybe you still dabble in that have prepared you for what you do? Yeah, for me personally, I started um, actually playing roller hockey when I was like five years old. That was my first sport. Um, and then after that, I kind of transitioned to basketball and football. But I, I loved all those sports. I think they really did help transition like my footwork and athleticism to play offensive line. Um, it's one of those things where I think the crossover at a young age kind of helps you develop into what you can be when you turn into an offensive lineman. Yeah, I know. Uh, I, uh, I played multiple sports growing up. My brother played baseball, so I always wanted to be like him and play baseball. But my first sport was technically swimming. Um, I was real young when I did that, but uh, you know, it, you know, all that stuff. All you're fighting, you're swimming against the water. You know, you're getting basically like weight training without without uh, weight training. So it's kind of uh, kind of cool. Um, Mom was a swim coach, so we always did that. But she was also a PE P teacher, a PE coach. So um, she always used to uh, uh, instill not only school is important, but also you know athleticism in our family is you know very important. I thought that was pretty interesting for you because I did uh, get Carly's input on this one, and I was surprised to find out she said that you have said that swimming was one of your strongest first sports. Yeah, no, I, I like to think so, but uh, <laughs> going back and looking at the times, I, I don't think I was that special. But you got your movement down. Yeah, I got the movement down. Now, she also gave me some inside. I mean, maybe it's not even that inside. You're a known, you're into grilling, smoking. Mm -hmm. You brought some smoky items to the training <laughs> staff over the off season. Yeah, I brought in, uh, you know, maybe some briskets, some pulled pork, uh, you know, wings, stuff like that for the... Uh, for the training staff and the equipment staff and everything like that. So I did a uh, crawfish boil, um, which I'm not from anywhere where there's crawfish, but uh, still something nice to do for uh, you know the guys that was, help us. Was there a fan favorite? Um, the brisket was pretty good. Um, as uh, you know, I did some wings and I did uh, um, smoked and fried. So I smoked them at home, brought them in, and then fried them uh, for the staff, and everybody loved those. Okay, cool. What would you cook up if you were at a Browns tailgate? Well, given that it's, you know, if you get there a little early, you could do like a uh, four to six hour, you know, uh, you know, ribs or, you know, maybe, maybe some pulled pork, you know, so, something like that. You know, now that with Traeger, they have this, you know, uh, you know, you can travel with a little travel Traeger, so you can do almost anything. All right. I would, I would add in his brisket was very good. I mean, brisket's usually tough, but he found a way to make it, make it very good. Yeah. Joel, stamp of approval. Yes. All pro Joel, longest tenured Brown. What have you picked up from now Hall of Famer Joe Thomas about keys to longevity since we know it wasn't the baggy ninja pants? Yeah, the baggy ninja <laughs> pants. No, he, um, you know, for him, when I first got here, he was so into like flexibility and stretching and, and taking care of his body. There'd be times where he didn't practice, but he was always in there doing some sort of, uh, you know, extra stretching or yoga. Um, so I've tried to add some of that to, to my routine. I don't have like the two hours that he had. I don't know how he got all the time. <laughs> but um, I do try and add a little bit into my into into my routine because I know keeping the body right, feeling good, is is really key to you know try and play as long as you can. 
Who do you think wins an arm wrestle between the two of you? Me and Wyatt? Oh, Wyatt for sure. I don't know. Have you Joel, seen those arms? Uh, you know, <laughs> Joel's stronger than he puts on. Nice. Have you, have you, like, I have older shoulders here, yeah, older elbows. Yes. I have a few injuries there. I would go Wyatt 90, 100 out of 100 times <laughs> on arm wrestling. <laughs> Okay, I've got some dad jokes for you. Well, I okay. guess for you guys it's just jokes. Yeah. But uh, we'll split these up. We do joke night at our house where we just like say jokes. My daughter actually enjoys, she's actually not bad at knock knock jokes, so. Okay, all right, let's see what you got. How does the moon cut his hair? Eclipse it. What do cows love to read? Cattle logs. Oh. Catalogs. Have you heard about the chocolate record player? It's pretty sweet. It's mm. a good one. <laughs> what kind of music do mummies like to listen to? I don't know. Rap. Rap. Gosh. Mm. Is it with an R or a W? W. Mm. W. Mm. <laughs> what did the janitor say when he jumped out of the closet? Supplies. Ah. Uh, what do you call a dinosaur with an extensive vocabulary? Oh, you got this. I gotta step my game up. I don't want to tell my kids this, but when I read jokes, I usually just look at my phone. Mm -hmm. I don't have them memorized. You know, it's a lot of wasted space up you there. Know, so I'm not great at these. So what was that? A thesaurus. Thesaurus. Mm. <laughs> mm. All right. Mm. Where do vampires like to shop? Where? Forever 21. Mm. That was a hot spot like 10 years ago, yeah, Forever 21. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if it still that. is or not. but yeah. That or Abercrombie, I don't remember. Um, what was left after the cheese factory explosion? Something melty? I don't even know what this is. De bone everywhere? <laughs> Debris. <laughs> Oh, debris, like brie cheese. As in brie cheese, yeah, got debris it. debris everywhere, gotcha. It looked like an O and an N. I said, de bone? And we can both read okay, so that's you guys, a plus. This was really just a reading challenge and you both passed with flying colors. <clears throat> we only had one slip up brie, but we're okay. It, look. That was my fault. I have you the handwriting of a teenage boy. Gentlemen, <laughs> thank you for this afternoon. That's a wrap for our Browns by the Lake offensive lineman edition here with Joel and Wyatt, thank you presented by Cross Country Mortgage.